In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the area of a triangle given the three vertices of the triangle. So let's graph the triangle first. So the first one is around negative 3, negative 2, which is somewhere in this region. This is just a ballpark estimate. And the second point is at 3, 5, which is probably going to be somewhere over here. And the third one is at 6, negative 4, which is probably going to be in that region. And so we have a triangle that looks roughly like this. So let's call this A, B, and C. So A is at negative 3, negative 2. B is at 3, comma 5. And C is at 6, negative 4. So how can we calculate the area of this triangle? So let's call this x1 and y1. This is going to be x2 and y2, and this is x3 and y3. So I'm going to rewrite these values. So x1 is negative 3, y1 is negative 2. x2 is 3, y2 is 5. And x3 is 6, y3 is negative 4. So I no longer need this picture, just that was for just a visual illustration. Now here's the formula that we need to calculate the area of the triangle. It's one half the absolute value of x1, y2 plus x2, y3 plus x3, y1 and then minus x1, y3 minus x2, y1 minus x3, y2. So in this example, x1 is negative 3, y2 is 5, x2 is 3, y3 is negative 4, x3 is 6, y1 is negative 2, and then minus x1, which is negative 3, and y3 is negative 4, then minus x2, which is 3, and y1, that's negative 2. And then x3 is 6, y2 is positive 5. So negative 3 times 5, that's negative 15. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 6 times negative 2 is also negative 12. Now negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12, but we do have a negative sign in front of it, so that's going to be negative 12. And then negative 3 times negative 2, that's positive 6. And then we have negative 6 times 5, which is negative 30. Now let's simplify the expression that we now have. So first, negative 15 minus 12. That's negative 27. And then negative 12 minus 12 is negative 24. And then we have 6 minus 30, which is also negative 24. Negative 27 minus 24, that's negative 51. And so negative 51 minus 24, that's negative 75. And the absolute value of negative 75 is positive 75. So the final answer, you can write it as 75 over 2. Or if you want the decimal answer, it's 37.5. So the area of this particular triangle is 37.5 square units. So that's how you can calculate the area of a triangle if you're given the three vertices of that triangle. So that concludes this lesson. If you want to find more videos on geometry, algebra, trigonometry, calculus, or even chemistry and physics, I got topics on those, feel free to visit my channel and just check out the playlist that interests you. I have a lot of topics listed in order. So if you need help in those courses, even organic chemistry, I offer help in that. You can just check out my channel and just find whatever video that you need help with. So thanks again for watching and have a good day.